The advice over whether to wear a non-medical mask in public has been evolving through the many long months of this pandemic. And now Canada's largest city and the nation's capital have taken things a step further. It's now mandatory in Toronto and Ottawa to wear a mask in enclosed public places. The number of new cases of COVID-19 in Ontario is trending downward. 112 new cases were reported today, most in the greater Toronto area. And the curve has flattened substantially right across the country. Clusters of new cases, when they happen, tend to be linked to enclosed spaces like nail salons, restaurants, meatpacking plants and farms with migrant workers. Toronto's public health officer says making masks mandatory rather than just encouraging their use improves compliance. Mike Drillet reports on the rules and the response. Back to normal. This was expected on the first day of mandatory masks in Toronto, a vocal minority protesting infringements on their right to freedom. But most everywhere else in the city, the non-punitive bylaw mandating masks be worn indoors was met with a shrug and compliance. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah well, who wants to get corona, you know? Should have happened months ago. Yeah. Months ago, maybe in February. Over 50 countries around the world have made masks mandatory. In Canada right now, it's just two cities, Toronto and Ottawa, where the new bylaws give businesses the right to refuse service. Because I'm allowed to? No. And you're no, not allowed to touch me? I'm while also creating the possibility the of more conflict. It's unfortunate. I would like us to be more reliant upon individual responsibility, but it seems that is insufficient. What's insufficient for Montreal retailers is how far the city's new mask bylaw, which goes into effect at the end of the month, will reach. Masks might soon be mandatory within Montreal, but all its suburbs have yet to follow suit. We have to look forward for um, a regional, super regional or even provincial uh, regulation on that issue. That would be way easier for, for everyone. It's an issue British Columbia seems to be grappling with as well, where provincial health officer Dr. Bonnie Henry has said she fully supports wearing masks indoors. She just has no interest at this time in making it mandatory. It depends very much on your transmission in your community. So I do not believe we're at the point where we need to mandate it, and I don't believe we have been there. And the numbers do support that. On the same day this week, BC had seven new cases, Quebec 74 and Ontario 154, all numbers that pale in comparison to what we were seeing during the height of the pandemic. The COVID-19 crisis has become more of a regionalized issue, putting more pressure on local health officials and politicians to make tough and sometimes unpopular decisions. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.